Hi guys and girls, here Captain Super Shark, and today I wanna play the Nazgul Mono Black deck. So, the game plan is to drop one of these bad boys, the Nazgul, and get a lot of ring triggers. Then we have Call of the Rings, so we can, whenever the ring triggers, we can uh, draw a card for the cost of two life. Because of this, we have to include Sheldred to mitigate um, the life loss. Also, because uh, drawing card is fun, I've also included three copies of the One Ring. Because I guess this is the most uh, yeah broken card in the Lord of the Ring format. Without this card, you yeah really have a hard time in the most matchups. So yeah, you really have to include it. And then we just have some typical stuff. So for removal, we have some cutdowns. Then we I've included one duress and two copies of the mind spike, mind spike, just to deal with all the one rings uh, in opponent's hand. Um, but yeah, like you know, it uh, it's kind of hard if you don't have duress or mind spike on in the early turns and opponent drops his one ring on turn four. Kind of hard. Then we have more removal. Go for the throat and infernal grasp. Also, Liliana of the Veil, two copies, and then just for top end cards, we have one Gig's Command, one Sauron, then the Witch King of Angmar, pretty cool card, one Corrupt to so we'll deal the finishing blow, and one Ring Race. The Ring Race is not the best creature, but I really like his ability to, yeah, to get him back from the graveyard when the ring triggers. So, um. Because all of the ring uh, trigger stuff, um, I guess it is the second ability where we draw and discard. So we can always discard the ring race and then bring it back with one of the ring triggers. So we get a little sweet value out of the ring race. And yeah, that's why I've included him. And for mana base, we just have 19 swarms, two gates of the black dragon. Yeah, to not run out of stuff if we. Yeah, get uh, land flooded, then one Takenuma, one Myrex, and also one uh, Phyrexian Scrapyard, just for the fun of it. And yeah, that's the idea behind this deck. Let's try it out. Okay, let's see. So one removal, Nazgul, Geek's Command, and Corrupt. Good.
go for the witch king yet so let's just destroy the reflection Trading for the harvester and the yeah and the shaman token. 
Another favorite. Um, yeah, sure, opponent. Let's make the my token even better. Double Eliana, okay. Damage 
is on the stack because six damage in the air, one from the my token and then the ring trigger. So I guess this game is over. Should be over. If I calculate it right. Can you draw a card? My token will be our ring bearer. Can't be blocked. Another Nazgul to grow our little witch king even more. Another Nazgul, but I guess we can't just attack. Should have done it at the beginning. And yeah, good game. Okay, yeah, finally going first, but I don't like this hand, way too clunky, let's try to do it better, worse, but I guess we have to deal with it. Good game opponent. Okay, going first is nice and yeah, the hand. Just need another third land. of Tark here, spawning port. 
So we're facing dragons. this so what do we want the witch king or the one ring Okay. 
deal combat damage. Okay, I just thought it is when it uh, attacks. And the bone explodes, sweet. This time on the draw. Don't love this hand, but guess keep it. No. Simic. Oh, you uh, toxic deck. Oh, yeah. Maybe a proliferation deck. Get up. the greatest play Okay guys and girls, this was the Nazgul Black deck, starring Nazgul, Call of the Ring, I guess Sheldred and the One Ring. So I really like this combination. Um, the deck is pretty solid, I would say written with between 50 or 60 percent. So yeah, the only really downside is uh, you have a really hard time beating all those Rectors. Um, also the Azorius control decks, um, they are pretty hard to deal with. Um, yeah, you really can't get rid of the one ring except for your dresses and your mind spikes. 
That's why I have included um, these cards in it to at least can deal with the one ring in a certain way. But yeah, if you don't draw into that stuff at the beginning and the opponent drops it on turn four, the ring, then yeah, the ring can really outvalue um, you. So yeah, keep that in mind. Um, yeah, besides that, I really like playing this deck. I really love um, all these races. I'm really fan of the Witch Kick of Angmar. Uh, pretty cool card. Um, um, yeah, can make him indestructible, ring tempting. Opponent has to sacrifice, so really cool card. Um, also, kind of like the ring race. We can always discard the ring race and bring it back when the ring and, um, triggers. And we have a whole lot of ring triggers, so I really like this kind of stuff so yeah guys and girls this was today's video hope you like it um, if you knew would really appreciate if you like and subscribe and yeah stay tuned for the next video and wish you a wonderful day till the next time see you bye bye